Shalom, this is Talia, and this is day nine of the 40-Day Revelation Challenge. Um, today was a good day. We just ended with the Feast of Trumpets um, as a community at the House of Israel, Ohio. And we all um, stood up and kind of shared our revelations for today. Um, and one of the sisters there uh, shared hers, and she just kind of gave a couple of thought-provoking questions that... Um, Yahweh placed on her heart and um, one of them stuck with me um, and she had presented that uh, when the Most High gives you a command to um, maybe talk with someone or share something with someone you know what do you do do you hesitate or do they line up with how you think they should look like or or the type of person that you think you should be gravitating to. Um, and that stuck with me because I realized that I do that sometimes. I do that. Um, I, If someone is pressed on my heart to call or to talk to, let's say if they're pressed on my heart to call, oh, you know, such and such name popped up in my mind, or they... I really feel a tug to call them, oh, you know, I'll wait till tonight, and then tonight comes, and then tomorrow comes, and then the weekend comes, and the next week comes, and then I may not ever do it. Or if someone is being pressed on my heart to talk to, if we're like in a store and they're a stranger, I'm like, okay, they're a stranger, they don't know me, I don't know, I don't want to talk to them, they may cuss me out, <laughs> they may ignore me, you know, but that's not the point, that is not what he said. He said, obey my voice. Do what I ask you to do. If you are mine, you'll do what I ask you to do. I, I, I cannot always line up with how someone is supposed to be or how they, how they, how they should look um, to spread the gospel, to spread good news, or to transition them. You know, I, it's not my, it's not what I perceive someone to be is the most high I don't know what's going on within that person's life that the most high sees because of course he sees all the point is be obedient the point is I see something you cannot and I know you are the person to Leah to do it so I need you to do it not not when you feel like it or no this person has on you know a red dress well I'm just using a random color but no this person has on a red dress you know they they don't look like someone that the most high should be talking to or whatever the case may be it should not fit in my little box of comfortability you know just because i don't know them doesn't mean that they may they i may not have something for them to hear you know it may be that one word i give them that can transition or change or you know bring them closer to him you just never know you never know so i need to really work on that um obedience part and um uh, just keep it before me, you know, who did Yeshua go to? Who did he talk to? Who did he hang with? You know, he said, I did not come here for people who are well. I came here for those who are sick and in need of a, a physician. Of course, I'm paraphrasing, but um, he said, I came to those who need me. So to Leah and other, other people who may have this tug on them, you know, I know I have appointed you in this position to do so because I know you can do it the best way I designed you to do it. So um, that stuck with me. So I was blessed with that today over someone else's revelation. And I wanted to share that with you all. Uh, we all are work in progress. <laughs> Yom Kippur is coming. Um, that may be something that I want to leave with him that day. You never know. So uh, Shalom and oh, actually Shabbat Shalom. <laughs> Shabbat shalom. Until next time, talk to you soon.